Orlando Pirates heading to a calf final. Chiefs Nurkovic to Royal AM and Pito Musimani on the verge of making it 3 for 3. Hey guys, welcome to the Wazanazo Transfer Show and let's get into the latest happenings in the PSL. We kick off the episode as El Ali are on course for their third CAF Champions League. El Ali will face Wayid Athletic Club in the final of the CAF Champions League after beating ES Satifayen 6-2 on aggregate. The Red Devils of Egypt will play in their third CAF Champions League final in three seasons in a row. Congratulations to Peter Musimani and Percy Tao who played a major role in getting the 10-time CAF Champions League winners to the final. Musimani is looking to win his third CAF Champions League in a row with the team of the century. While Percy Tao could win his second CAF Champions League since leaving Mamelodi Sundowns back in 2018. Now we move back to the shores of Mzanzi as Richards Bay clinch promotion. Richards Bay Footballing Club are now the 2021 2022 Glad Africa champions and have been promoted to the DSTV Premiership with Amatax and Cape Town All-Stars still competing in the promotional playoffs. With the KwaZulu-Natal based outfit gaining automatic promotion to the top flight of South African football. We can't wait to see how will Richards Bay compete in the DSTV Premiership next season. Our next few stories will take us to Soweto as Orlando Pirates advance to the Confed Cup. Final. Orlando Pirates have advanced to the CAF Confederation Cup's final despite losing to El Ali Tripoli in the second leg of their semi final at the Orlando Stadium. The Buccaneers have secured their place in the CAF Confederation's Cup final for the second time in their history. The Sea Robbers will now face Ares Berkane in the final of the Continental Showpiece on the 20th of May in Nigeria. Congratulations to the Skull and Bones and bring the trophy home. Our next story will keep us with the Buccaneers as Orlando Pirates target a Sundowns defender. The Buccaneers are looking to add former Mamelodi Sundowns defender Keegan Allen from the University of Pretoria. The young centre-back turned down the opportunity to sign a long-term contract with Sundowns in favour of playing regular first-team football with Amatax. The 21-year-old Clercorp development product has been impressive for the Chwane outfit. The Buccaneers are believed to be considering luring the towering defender by offering him a first-team contract to strengthen their defence. The defender who measures at 1.85 meters would definitely add an aerial presence that the sea robbers have been missing at the back. Our next story will take us to Belgium as a former Orlando Pirates striker signs for a new club. Bafana Bafana forward Lyle Frosler has secured himself a permanent transfer to Belgium side KVC Westerlo. The 21-year-old spent the 2021-2022 campaign on loan at Westerlo, helping them gain promotion to the Jupiter Pro League and now he has spent a four-year deal with the club. The 21-year-old forward managed 10 goal involvements in 26 appearances for the Belgium club, prompting Westerlo to agree a 17 million rand transfer with Portuguese-based club Victoria Guimarães, with the Portuguese outfit adding a 15% selling clause in the striker's deal. There were rumors and links that Percy Tao's former side, Royal Union saint Genois were also interested in the Bafana Bafana forward, but failed in a last ditch attempt to sign. Foster. Now we move on to the headline story of the episode as Samir set to join Royal AM. Kaiser Chiefs striker Samir Nerkovic has been strongly linked with a move to Durban based club Royal AM. According to South African publication Kickoff, Nerkovic has signed a two year deal with an option to extend by a further year with the KwaZulu Natal based outfit. The Serbian striker will join Royal AM at the end of the current campaign on a free transfer from the Soweto Giants. The player's agent Dejan Sermic 
dismissed the reports claiming that Nurkovic had signed for Royal AM, but then the 29-year-old would be left out of the squad entirely in the fixture on Saturday against Ikukune United, just 48 hours after a kickoff broke the story. Nurkovic was an instant hit at Chiefs when he joined the club two seasons ago. He scored 13 league goals in his first 26 appearances for the Glamour Boys. Since then, the Serbian has struggled for game time with the Slavic hitman going under the knife for knee surgery back in October. Nekovic missed large parts of the season due to this major injury. The striker hasn't also been given a lot of game time this season, with the coaching brass at Naturena noticeably favoring the smaller more agile and more dynamic forwards in Keegan Dolly and Kamabiliat. But Nurkovic's move to Royal AM could be a blessing in disguise, as if Nurkovic were to move to Royal AM, we could see Victor Letsualo move in the opposite direction, as the Bafana Bafana International has been in red hot form, scoring 16 goals for the PSL New Boys, garnering links between the striker and a big money move to the Soweto Giants. Royal AM have previously stated that the club would be open to selling Let's Swallow if a good enough offer arrives, but the Glamour Boys would definitely have to pay a king's ransom for the inform hitman. So could Samir Nurkovic's move to Royal AM facilitate the transfer for Victor Let's Swallow in the opposite direction? Please let me know in the comments below who would you want in your squad, Samir Nurkovic or Victor Let's Swallow? Our last story of the episode takes us to Attridgeville, a super sport after Chiefs target and Sundowns youngster. Chipper United striker Benvenue Van Gaal and Mamelodi Sundowns midfielder Grant Marjman could be heading to Attridgeville next season. Van Gaal has been strongly linked with a move to Kaiser Chiefs, with his potential deal falling apart at the last minute as Chiefs were not willing to meet the player's demands. While Marjman was sent out on loan to relegation bound Swallows FC from his parent club Mamelodi Sundowns. According to close sources to Matsansaya Pitori, Supersport United mean business for next season. With Evanga and Majman on top of their wish list, the club believes both signings would add the needed quality and depth to the squad. <laughs> Let's go.